Okay, quick question on acids. Start off really simply. Find the pH of a 1 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per decimeter cubed solution of hydrochloric acid. Now the important thing you need to know, there's no dissociation constant given in the question and we know HCl is a strong acid. So when you get it into solution, all of the H's form ions and all the Cl's form minus ions. So we go straight to the formula that pH is equal to minus log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. We know that the concentration of HCl is going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 4. There's only one proton for every single molecule that dissolves. So pH equals minus log to the base 10 of 1 times 10 to the minus 4 which gives us a pH of 4. So if you calculate that, make sure that when you calculate it, you get the same answer as me to make sure you know uh, how the calculator works properly. Believe me, little errors occur. Um, but also just check your answer. A fairly weak solution of a strong acid, it's going to be the right side of 7. If your answer becomes above 7, obviously you've got a problem. Right, another simple question. This time we're looking at an alkali. Find the pH of a 1 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per decimeter cube solution of barium hydroxide. It's going to be a strong alkali because there's no dissociation constant, but this time it's slightly trickier because if you look at the stoichiometry, there are two hydroxide ions going to be formed for every molecule that dissolves in water. So let's start off then. What we want to find out is the concentration of hydroxide ions. So concentration of hydroxide ions is going to be 2 times 1 times 10 to the minus 4 and that is because there are two hydroxide ions so we can say OH minus is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 4 fairly straightforward now using the equation of the autoprotrolysis or the dissociation of water we know that 1 times 10 to the minus 14 is equal to the concentration of H plus ions multiplied by the concentration of OH minus ions. So if we rearrange this equation, and obviously that is the value for this one, we can work out what the concentration of high hydrogen ions will be, and that gives us a value of 5 times 10 to the minus 11 moles per decimeter cubed. So all we have to do is pop that into our equation we've just used, pH equals minus log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. So pH equals minus log to the base 10 of 5 times 10 to the minus 11. And that gives us a pH equal to 10.3. Right, now we start to get a little bit trickier. Now we've been given a dissociation constant, which means not all of the acidic protons on the propanoic acid molecule dissociate and go into solution. So first of all, we have to figure out how many of them have gone into solution. So just like with equilibrium cal uh, calculations, we're going to have Ka is equal to the concentration of products, which in this case, it's hydrogen ions and propanoate ions. Divided by the concentration of reactants, which is the propanoic acid. Which I'll put the effort in and get it written out properly. Now we can put numbers into this. We've got Ka, 1.45 times 10 to the minus 5 is equal to, now we don't know what this concentration is, and we don't know what this one is, but we do know that they're in a 1 to 1 ratio. So for now we'll just call it x, divided by this concentration, which we do know is 0 0.01 moles per litre. So if we rearrange the equation, we now get 
1.45 times 10 to the minus 5 times by 0 0.01 is equal to x squared. But we just want to find x, so we'll do a square root of this. And x, which remember is the concentration of hydrogen ions, plus it's the same as the uh, concentration of propanoate ions. And it comes out as 3.808 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per decimeter cubed. Now we plug that back into our uh, pH calculation, which we're quite used to now. pH equals minus log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. Remember this. is equal to that. So all we need to put in is pH equals minus log to the base 10 of 3.808 times 10 to the minus 4. Remember if you're calculating this, leave that number in your calculator and then you carry fewer errors across. So pH should be equal to 3.42. And again, it's an acid. So you'd expect it to have a pH less than 7, but it's not going to be pH of 1 or 1.5 because it's a fairly weak acid. Right, now this one is much more tricky, but you're just going to follow the same steps. What we've got to do first of all is to figure out the pH of this buffer, but to begin with, we've got this dry mass of sodium benzoate acting as the salt of benzoic acid in this buffer. So we need to convert this mass in one litre into moles per litre, so it works in our equilibrium calculation. So mass divided by relative formula mass will give us the number of moles. So 7.2 divided by, and the relative formula mass is 144, equals 0.05 moles, and that's in one litre. So that makes that first bit nice and straightforward. The next thing we need to do is figure out our equilibrium calculation. And we're going to have Ka is equal to, and I'm going to cheat, make it a bit easier now, benzoate ions, which will be negative, multiplied by the H plus ions, divided by the concentration of benzoic acid. Now here's the tricky bit that you need to remember. When we're doing a buffer solution, these benzoate ions, we, because it's so small, the number that come from benzoic acid, we assume they all come from the salt, which is part of the buffer. So we're going to use this concentration for the benzoate ions, and the benzoic acid concentration will come from the question. And then all we have to do is calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions. So if we put these numbers in, we have 6.4 times 10 to the minus 5 as our dissociation constant is equal to 0 0.05, which is our concentration of benzoate ions, even though they all come from the sodium benzoate, multiplied by our unknown, divided by the concentration of the acid, which was given in the question. If we calculate this now, we get our concentration of the acid. And if we rearrange the equation and calculate this, we end up with a concentration of hydrogen ions to equal 2.56 times 10 to the minus 5. Now, if we go back to our original pH calculation, minus log to the base 10, of the concentration of H pluses, pH equals minus log to the base 10 of 2.56 times 10 to the minus 5. Remember, leave the number in the calculator. Don't just rely on what you've written down. pH equals 4.59.